I love Hawaii so much. Me too. There is so many cool things here. Right? Look at this cool necklace I got. That is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. And I've got this one. And I have this one. And this Wait, one. Wait, can I have? No. And I have this color and this color. That's really cool. Can uh, I please? Maybe later. So I have an idea. Why don't we worship God first with all my necklaces? Sounds good.
Can I see your necklace now? Nope, it's mine. I won't mess it up. I just no, want to see I, my hair. It. I just want to see it. My necklace! <gasps> Steven! Julie! Look, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I just can't believe you did this. That's my cool necklace that I brought to Hawaii. I have an idea. I'll be back right after our Bible story. Okay. Ugh, this is not good. This definitely explains the reaction I have been getting from our customers. When you're expecting the sweet flavor of one of the Hawaiian's favorite dessert and you get pickle juice, well, that's kind of hard to forgive. But forgiveness is always necessary, especially when it comes to forgive the people in your family. There's a story in the Bible of a guy named Joseph who made a choice to forgive his family. Joseph had a lot of brothers. Of all the boys in his family, Joseph was daddy's favorite. This made his brother so mad. To make matters worse, Joseph's dad made a special gift just for him. It was a really fancy robe that had many colors. Now, this might not seem like a big deal, but back then, most of the clothes had only one plain color. So to get a robe that was so bright and colorful was special for sure. So Joseph's brothers devised a plan to get rid of him once and for all. They threw Joseph into a deep, dark pit and planned to leave him there all alone. When the brothers saw some men passing by on the way to Egypt, they came up with a new plan and sold him as a servant instead. Then the brothers ran back home and told their father that his favorite son had been killed by a wild animal. As time went by, a lot happened to Joseph, and pretty soon he became a servant to Pharaoh. God was with him and gave him a special ability to understand dreams. He was able to warn Pharaoh that a famine was coming to the land. They needed to stock up food for seven years so they could survive the years where they would not be food. Pharaoh listened to Joseph, and just like that, Joseph went from being a slave for Pharaoh to actually being in charge for him. Wow, people from other countries came to Joseph to buy food so they could feed their families. Joseph's brothers came from a long way off, and just like everybody else, they had to go to Joseph to get food. When they saw Joseph, they did not know he was their brother, but he definitely knew who they were. Joseph could not hide who he was from his brothers. He could not control his sadness anymore. He started to cry and ask everybody but his brothers to leave. Joseph continued to cry when he told them who he was. At first, his brothers were confused and afraid. They had done a horrible thing to Joseph and he could have thrown them into prison to pay them back. But instead, Joseph chose to forgive them and gave them all land and food they would need to survive. When we feel hurt by someone we love, we can always follow the example of Joseph and decide to forgive them, even if they don't say that they are sorry. We can also ask God to help us to forgive, remembering that He has forgiven all wrong things we have done. Now, you could stay mad as Scout and try to think of ways to give revenge, but that will make you feel miserable on the inside. Instead, choose to forgive Scout, knowing that God will help you. Wow, KE friends, I can't believe Joseph forgave like that. What? I got huh. you another necklace. Oh. <laughs> it's identical, just like my necklace. I am so, so, so sorry. I really didn't mean to. I, I hope this makes up for it. Okay, I don't know how you broke the first one, and I- Okay, okay, I'll let you think on it. Think, okay. But let's play a game first. Okay, that's a great idea. 
Welcome back, friends. Get ready for the ultimate challenge as we dive into a scorching summer edition of Would You Rather. Would you rather have a whole year of summer or a year of winter? Would you rather have no ice cream during summer or no cold drinks? Would you rather have an unlimited supply of gelato or ice pops? Would you rather have a big luxurious pool or free entry to a water park for the rest of your life? Would you rather go on a summer vacation with your friends or camping with your friends? Would you rather go on fishing with your father or go on a shopping spree with your mother? Would you rather build a treehouse during your summer vacation or play video games? Would you rather visit your grandparents and spend your summer vacation with them or go on a cruise trip to Europe? I am still really, really, really sorry about your necklace. I should have listened to you. Yeah, it's okay. I guess I was being a tiny bit dramatic and selfish by not letting you see my necklaces. Does that mean you forgive me? <gasps> nope, not yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I think we should check back in with our Bible story. It might change your mind. I think we need that. This is Joseph. Hey! Who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah! but he had 11 brothers who hated him and sold him into slavery. Yeet. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah! But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others. Aww. Because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them. <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! Uh -huh. So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <laughs> He had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. Aww. On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed. So he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. 
but Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta -da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. That really took God's strength for Joseph to forgive like that. That's right. We don't have the power to forgive like that. It's all from God. And I see that forgiving people really is important to God. Yes, God forgave all of us for our sins, so he wants us to forgive each other just the same. And guess what? I gotta say, I forgive you for breaking my leg. And really? Yeah. Thank you. Of course. I mean, God forgave me, and because of that, I want to forgive you. Well, I think it's time for our takeaway for the day. Let's do it. All right, KE friends, stand up with us. Are you ready? All right, KE friends, repeat after me. God wants... God wants... Us to forgive. Us to forgive. That was amazing. This time, let's say it all together. You ready? God, God wants... Us, us to forgive. forgive. That was awesome, guys. This time, let's stay standing as we go over our Bible verse together. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10.
it's been so much fun traveling around Hawaii on a boat with you today. Can we reflect on what we got to learn? Our first question is, why is it hard for us to forgive sometimes? Our second question is, when we aren't willing to forgive, what does it do to us? And our last question is, when it's hard to forgive somebody, what can we do? Another awesome part about our friendship with God is praying to Him. That's right, guys. We can tell God anything we want and ask Him any questions that are on our minds. So what do you say we open up our hearts to God and pray together right now? Let's do it. God, thank you so much for being our family. Please help us to forgive one another anytime we hurt someone or we do something wrong. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. Well, it sure has been a special day with you, KE friends. Oh, no. Is is that what I think it is over there? What? <gasps> That's a shark! <laughs> We have to duck and cover. A shark's going to get in this boat right now. Okay, I, I guess we better say goodbye. See you later, alligator. <laughs> better swish, jellyfish. <laughs>